Hello everybody, this is Pandy Mean Panda, and welcome to Would You Rather, a browser game that I'm sure most of you have heard of now, but um, I'm going to do mine in a softly spoken and sometimes whispering tone. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun, and um, this is one of those just fun little games, so if you do like this video, please let me know in the comments below um, when it's done or whenever you'd like. So, uh, this one seems like it's already been done for, so I'm just gonna go along here. The next one is, um, would you rather get stung repeatedly by a Japanese hornet or be bitten once by a black widow spider? Now, I've heard that the Japanese hornets are actually really rough. Um, that they're just, they're terrible, just, just so awful, but I think that I'm more likely to get the help I need from being bitten by a black widow spider. I mean, I don't like spiders at all. I like, I could handle bees more than spiders, but I just, I don't know. I think I'll go with this one just because the likelihood of be of me encountering a black widow spider is probably more common than being um, in contact with a Japanese hornet. Wow, that was a lot of people. They mostly said black widow. Okay. Um, would you rather be married to someone that doesn't love you or be married to someone that you don't love? This is really tricky, um, because I, I deeply care about lots of people, so it's, it would be hard for me to see myself in either of those situations, but, um, it's more likely that I would end up married to somebody that doesn't love me, as terrible as that sounds. Uh, I mean, genuinely, I think I try to work things out by talking and having a lot of good communication in my relationships, so, um, I don't know, but I guess there's, there's also a chance that I'd be married to someone I don't love, because over time things change, and I don't, I don't know, it would suck, but I'll go with that one, which is not the same percentage as last time. Um, I do, I want to give you folks a heads up now, because you probably heard some background noises, and if you didn't, well, that's, that's good. Um, my partner and I adopted a cat recently. Her name is Tali Zora, like the Mass Effect character, and she is still only, uh, she's still new to us and new to the space. She's been here for four days. She is three years old, and she is a darling. But she also doesn't understand that, you know, this is usually my recording space, but it's also the living room, and it's atta and the bathroom's attached, so if she has to poop, she has to walk through. But she's having a, a good time with some catnip I put out for her, and um, some toys and such, so we might hear her, we might not. Okay. If you were in a rough part of town, would you rather arm yourself with the most powerful Nerf guns or arm yourself with the most powerful super soakers? Probably Nerf guns. I haven't used a super soaker in a while, but they are mostly ineffective as far as I am I can, I'm concerned. Um, I mean, sure, you could like just about anything in a super soaker. But Nerf guns, if they're the most powerful, they could leave probably a couple of marks. And, um, I mean, you could make a Nerf gun look like a gun. That's what a lot of folks do when they're cosplaying. Like, I've, I'm making a Nerf gun look like, um, Junkrat's, um, frag launcher from Overwatch. And my partner is making his to look like McCree. 
nice peacekeeper. So, uh, I'd probably go with the Nerf guns. That is actually pretty close, the two of us. Okay. <clears throat> Would you rather listen to only one song for the rest of your life or listen to no music for the rest of your life? It depends on the song. I think because there are some songs out there that I will, that I'm like immediately drawn to. Like, it's so, like, just so powerful. But, um, there are also some songs out there that, like, make me cry instantly, and I hate that, because it means if that comes on in public, I have to, like, duck and cover. <laughs> but I probably know music for the rest of my life. I mean, it doesn't mean that you can't create your own songs or enjoy the peaceful song sounds of nature. It just means that you would typically not listen to any music already created, I guess. But music is powerful, so I'm not really surprised at that. Okay. Would you rather pay to see a female comedian or paid be paid to be slapped? Be paid the same amount times in the face. You have no affiliation to the comedian. She is random, average female trying to make her way into comedy. Um, go see a female comedian. I saw a couple of really good female comedians. I went to see Louis C.K. earlier this year, which was so amazing. He's so funny to me. Um, but it's, you know, some of them, it's, I mean, as much as never sure whether or not they're going to be funny. So, you know, may as well give it a whirl. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather be a member of InSync or be a member of the village people? Now, I'm sure that some of you out there may not know who the village people are. They are the folks who, they're the group of, um, individuals who did the YMCA song. <laughs> I would be them. They are so fabulous. Oh my gosh. Have you seen pictures of them? They just, wow. Absolutely. What? No. Uh, well, you do what you want to do. I would be a member of the village people instantly. Would you rather string your opponent along for the entire fight or crush them from the beginning? This is for a boxing match. You win either way. Um, probably crush them from the beginning. I mean, why, why just toy with them if, if you, like, if you think you're going to win right off the bat or you, um, or like you don't even think they have a fighting chance, then get it over with, and then they can go back to training and, like, I don't know, become better and fight you again later. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, I guess that's just me, but I'd crush them from the beginning. That is a <laughs> huge difference. <coughs> okay. Sorry, my throat's a little Um, would you rather make up with Gollum or hook up with Beetlejuice from the movie? Now, I used to watch the Beetlejuice cartoons. That was a lot of fun, and I do love the movie. Um, it's very... It was a very good movie. It was a lot of fun. And I can... Like, I like I also love the Lord of the Rings, but Gollum? Hell no. <laughs> no, 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 no. And Beetlejuice, at least he's got, like, He's trying to be Rico Suave over there. He's just, you know, always flirting with somebody. So, yeah. Why not? Oh my god. Wow. Um, would you rather yell a swear between every word or get punched in the face after every swear? And there are hard punches. I'd yell a swear between every word. I mean, how? 
that's half the time so I talk I swear I guess that's just a thing that they can do in Britain it's particularly in like Massachusetts it's like you swear all the time at least I do <coughs> some folks don't and good for them but you know I I find myself when I'm at home oh man that's when they really go I call my partner like all kinds of names and we think it's hilarious we just laugh like we laugh our asses off we truly do all right would you rather kill one person you know or kill three strangers? Age of strangers is random. There's no guarantee how old or young anyone is. Um, it says kill one person you know. I know some people I really don't like. So, I mean, that could be a good thing, I guess. It doesn't say you have to kill somebody you like. <laughs> um... I don't know those strangers, I mean, and it doesn't say how old or young they are. I could be killing a baby. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. No. I'll kill someone I know. Why the hell not? Alright, would you rather be electrocuted every time you swear or have all profanity censored out on your television? Um, well, I mean, like I said before, I swear kind of a lot when I get the chance, so, um, if I was electrocuted every time I swore, there would be nights where I would just be, like, completely fried, <laughs> just from all of the electrocution, it would just, it, it would be terrible, so, and I don't have a TV, so joke's on you. <coughs> Sorry. Chocolate. Absolutely, 100%. I love vanilla, and vanilla can taste really good. But chocolate, like, half the time I get something, I get chocolate. Like, oh my gosh, post Halloween chocolate sales. All the candy in the world. I literally, I like, really, I just got, after, after, the, after Halloween. Usually I don't like buying Kit Kats or Milk Duds, um, because I feel like, you know, I don't know much about Hershey's, uh, policy, and I just feel bad for, like, promoting something, like, I don't know, the way that they get their chocolate, or it's not really fair sometimes. I don't know. I think you get what I'm saying. I hope you do. Don't know the process in which they get their cocoa or or anything or if they pay their employees well or if they're outsourcing i don't know but kit kats unfortunately are one of my downfalls and so i just bought like a ton of, of like just three bags and they were huge and i'm still eating like charleston shoes to this day the milk duds went fast though my partner and i like devoured them i also bought tootsie rolls to be my favorite though out of those two but man jeans that's easy I love wearing jeans I can't pull off shorts I got like pasty white nerd legs it's crazy <laughs> I would much rather wear jeans I no actually damn today I am not wearing jeans I'm wearing some slacks but I typically wear jeans the universe or die right now with no afterlife you couldn't die until every other human being died or you would die right now and have no heaven or hell or afterlife or anything um, and if I died right now chances are I don't know I mean I'd, I'd probably sure of an afterlife it, it would just be eternal nothingness and that would suck but what's what makes you think that living forever means that there's an afterlife right 
that doesn't quite make sense to me. Like, sure, you could start following a religion before you die, <clears throat> and then perhaps you would end up um, finding an afterlife to go to. But as of right now, like, I identify as Wiccan, so they actually do have a type of afterlife, um, or, you know, some a type of heaven. But it's... Uh, if I died right now with no afterlife, that would suck, but living until every other human being has died, that means I wouldn't, I would just become a hermit because it would be too sad to make friends and, and find loved ones and I'd like outlive all my kids and all my grandkids and it's just, that's too heartbreaking for me. I mean, true, what if I'd be able to learn a lot, but hell no. <coughs> just the one grape or a, a whole pie like you know what I like grapes I really do oh if you freeze them they're so good um would you rather have surgery in a Mexican hospital um or have surgery on the American Indian reservation closest to you now in this area we have quite a few different um tribes, I believe. I know that Cherokee is, is one of the big ones around here, but, and I know there's actually a reservation closest to mine. It doesn't say what Mexican hospital, there could probably be a really decent Mexican hospital, but I'm nowhere close to Mexico. <laughs> so, we'll go with that one. Would you rather save Abe Lincoln or save JFK? Hmm. Um, I honestly have no idea. This is really hard. Um, I'd probably go with Abe Lincoln. Oh, wow. Would you rather be the head chef on a luxury cruise, cruise liner or be the head chef in the White House? cruise boat may travel anywhere but the prestige of being in the White House may be a, mo a further motivation um, probably a luxury cruise because there's no way that I'm leaving burgers for freaking <coughs> our current uh, potential or no our current um, president you know who I'm talking about I'm not making burgers for Trump <coughs> sorry Would you rather wear only skin tight clothing or wear clothes that are much too big? Um, you look ridiculous and out of place in either case. Um, would you rather, you know, I would probably wear clothes that are too big for me because then I could like modify them and like wear a belt and it just looks kind of, you know, like it's supposed to be that way. Skin tight clothing, good God. Um, no, I mean, I, I'm I'm plus size. Skin tight clothing doesn't look good on me, like me particularly. Just not good. Would you rather talk a little bit too loudly or talk a little bit too softly? I always talk too softly. Can you hear me now? I always talk too softly. <clears throat> it's just um, I always have people still have a hard time. They ask me to speak up, so that's fine with me. Two more, and then I'm gonna make one um, for the adult rated questions. All right. S would you rather stare at the sun for five seconds after being in a dark room for five hours, or have one eye replaced with a glass eye for the rest of your life? There is still a chance of blindness. Or there's a chance of blindness. At, well, geez, with that one, but there's m definite blindness with that one. We'll go with this one. <coughs> Alright, final one. Would you rather be sent into space without enough oxygen or be thrown
grown naked into a pit of deadly scorpions. Yikes. You know, I'd probably go with this one. It's a slow death, but I don't like like the crawling feeling of anything on me. It's not okay. Like I would, I know I would freak out and I would just make myself die even faster. <laughs> but you know, at least if I were in space without enough oxygen, I would die in a beautiful, like I would die in space and everything would be pretty out there. And it's not so pretty over here. So space, space. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> thank you very much for watching. And, um, if you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up comment if you would really like and uh if you are pretty feeling particularly fat and sassy you can subscribe and i mean that with all with the love in my heart like fat and sassy is the way to go that's how i do it every day so um i hope you all have had a wonderful holiday if you celebrated it and i will see you 